Hi guys, so the purpose of this screencast is to discuss what I feel is one of the most underutilized functions of Microsoft Word and basically every word processor because it will make your documents look really professional and it will also save you a lot of time in the long run. So what do we mean by styles? Well, I'm sure that you've drafted a paper or two where you have something like this, where you have this bold heading and then some body text, bold heading, some body text. So it gets across that this is the heading for, this is basically telling you what you're going to be reading about in the coming paragraphs. Now this does work to an extent, but it requires a lot of work on your end. So let's say that we wanted a bit of space in between these two things. So I add a return, add a carriage return, but I got to do that for every single time. If you change the spacing, then it might not look right. Basically, something, an ethic that you should keep in mind is that you want to write the content one time and then have a rule that you can apply to everything else the rest of the time. So how does that get applied in the, sen in the case of uh, Microsoft Word? So go over to View and hit Styles. This will give you your Styles toolbox. I'm going to give you a neat little trick right here. I want to change the formatting, the style, if you will, of all of these headings that I've created. And so how exactly do I go about and select all of them? What you could do is highlight this, hold the command key, highlight the next one, highlight the next one, highlight the next one, but that would take forever. You might miss something. If you screw up, then you got to go back to the beginning. That's bad. But I know that this heading is a different style than this, and Microsoft knows that as well. So current style of selected text is normal plus bold. So this stuff, my paragraphs, my regular body text is called normal but this was just normal text that I added bold to. So knowing that, we can hit the select all button and Word will select for us all of the text that follows that exact same rule. And so I will just use genetic heading number one. Um, my styles pane looks a bit different than your styles pane because I altered the generic styles, or uh, I altered the generic heading one, heading two, heading three that Microsoft Word comes with to be my own personal stuff that's uh, more branded to Everett's color scheme and font and everything. So I just created this for the purpose of this uh, screencast. Yours will be just called Heading 1, so let's click it. And so as you can see that a lot of stuff has changed. It's a different color. There's space now before and after the paragraph. Um, it's also bigger. It looks a bit, it looks better in my opinion. You might think it looks terrible, but you can make your own style. In fact, let's do that right now. Let's make a new style and it's going to base it on generic H1. So it basically makes a copy of that and we can do whatever we want with it. So I'm going to name it, um, screencast style. This next drop down right here is very important as well, style for following paragraph. It just means that will you have to change the style again after you hit the return key? So we'll just make it normal. So that means that I'll write a heading, hit the return key, and then it goes right back to normal paragraph text. So let's change the, we can change the font to whatever we want. Let's do, really doesn't matter. Uh, I like Menlo. This is a monospace font. We can change it to 18 point. We can change the color, not in here, but oh yeah, right there. We can change the color to Everett Green. So we'll change, there we go. So as you can see, I've got a new style right here and I change that to that. There's some more, there's more advanced stuff that you can do with the style as well. So why don't we go ahead and modify this style. 
Um, I'm going to change it from Menlo because it's a monospace font and it makes it really, really wide. So we'll just make it Athelis, whatever that is. As you can see, right when I changed the style, it automatically affected everything that was given that style. When you guys go on to uh, web design and do and learn about CSS classes, then this will all make sense to you. So let's modify it more. So here's a more in-depth font frame or font pane. And really, I won't go over every single thing in here, or maybe I can, but um, the way that everybody learns this stuff is to just go in and screw around until you find that what you wanted is different. So here you can do stuff like uh, make it strike through it. I don't know why you'd want to do that. We can... Oh yeah, over here in font in advanced, you can expand the space in between the individual letters. See how wide it is now? But I don't want to do that. We can condense it. We can make it more close together. I'll keep it normal though. Uh, position, I, forget, I think that's you want it slightly above or below the line. Again, just screw around with this on your own time. It's great stuff. If you want to have like a line underneath it, that's a good one. So borders, I'll click right here. Make a nice thick three point border. Make it blue, don't, whatever. I didn't make it blue. So, I won't go through all of them, but as you can see that we were able to make a lot of changes and we did it by modifying the style. We created our own style, then we modified it. And I really hope that the thing that you're under that you're taking from all of this is that by leveraging styles, you are saving a tremendous amount of time because you're, you're just designating something is a heading. But we don't know what a heading looks like until you define it. So select all these guys, I'll change it to be my heading A, or I'll change it to be my official heading. It makes it all completely different. Or just this one that we created right now. And so you can focus on writing great content, writing a great paper, and then at the end, you decide how everything needs to be looking. And that's the real importance of using styles rather than just individually going and making it bold or what have you. That's an inefficient way of doing it, and we're trying to efficientize you. So, hope that was useful. Style on.